Okay, so a little bit of an update to what we did the last time on the last little video. Um, after we cut a few of these pieces, we did determine that the holes weren't going through all the way by using um, different methods. Um, we did do a contour and the pocket and different things, but I'm going to show you some options because I came up with a little chart that I think might help you out a little bit. So, here is our chart. I'm going to look at it real quick. On holes that are smaller than 0.3 inches, um, you can go down as small as about, I think we did some last year, that was 0.15. So between 0.15 and 0.3 inches, there you just use a contour command and the eighth inch bit. Not really any other options for doing that. If you're doing a 0.3 to 0.1 hole, again, you're going to use that eighth inch bit. And you're going to use the one option is use the pocket option. Um, but we're having troubles by using the pocket option with them not going all the way through the object. So we need to increase the stop, the top stock offset distance by 0 0.1 to 0 .1, by 0 0.01 to 0 0.05 inches. Let me show you what I mean by that. Because we really didn't look at that the other day. So in here, um, under setup, we're going to go to our setup tab. Um, I'm going to double click on my setup and it brings this up. If I go to my actual part here, this little yellow thing. Come on. All right, there we go. Right now, my top offset, actually, it's at zero is what my top offset is. I'm going to change that to 0 0.05. Um, by doing that top offset up just a little bit, that should get me down and through the material um, just where I need to be. Um, we're going to give that a little try and see how that works, and hopefully that will work for us. Um, so there we go. There's that, and that's one way of doing it. All right, let's go back here to our chart. Um, the next option is use the pocket option and add, or not, yeah, just use the pocket option and add 0 0.01 thickness to the measured thickness of your stock. So when we set our thickness of our stock, you got to measure your stock. Our stock that we did the other day measured 0 0.12 inches. I just increased that up to say the stock measured 0 0.13, and then that went through just fine. So I added 0 0.01 to that thickness, and it worked just fine. And then yet a third option is do it in two steps. Use the pocket option, and then do another step and use the um, contour option with a second cut. The way that I'd look here in inventory is like this. So we're going to go back to, let me see here, okay on this one. Um, right now I have my pocket in there, it's cutting that pocket first. Then I have my contour around the outside edge. I would just add another 2D contour. So I go to 2D contour again. I'm going to add it to there, and add it to there, and just go OK. Actually, first I better check my bit, make sure it's cutting the right tool. So, go to my bit option, my tool option, come in here, scroll across. Yes, I'm at the right one, 10,000 RPM at 62 inches a minute. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to go ahead and go OK. So there, now I have that option there. Now, I do need to change the order of these, and that's really easy just to drag them. So I'm going to drag this one up to there. So first, it does my pocket, cuts all those out like that, um, with that little spiral cut in there. Then I go around the outside edge and clean it up, and then it goes all the way around the outside of the edge of the object and cuts that path around the outside. So that's kind of the option there, and that, that's a good option. It does that little clean path on there that really makes very smooth and very nice cut. Um, going back. So that was on our 0.3 to 0.1. A 1 to 3 inch hole, again you're going to use an eighth inch or quarter inch cutter. If, if all your holes are 1 inch or larger, I, I would just be using a quarter inch cutter if you have small radiuses on it. Um, so it's better to use that larger cutter. And then again your pocket, you can do the same thing. Do your same offsets there on both of these steps that you did above. The thing is, if you're using an eighth inch cutter especially, if you have a 3 inch hole with an eighth inch cutter, it's just going to take a while. So be ready to wait for a while in a long little cut job. If you're doing a one inch hole, eh, really not that long, especially if you're using a quarter inch cutter. Then another option that's new is you can use that contour option I just showed you and add tabs in the way I showed you on that last part to add tabs in and just add tabs around it. If you're doing a small hole like a one inch diameter hole, probably three tabs in there would be fine. If you're doing a larger hole, like a 3-inch hole, oh, you might want to have maybe four tabs on there, one on each side of the circle, each quadrant of the circle. Um, and you should be just fine there. 
Now, one also side note that I didn't do the other day, um, for all that last video, your tabs, the default for them is like 0 0.03125 thick, I think it's a 32nd of an inch by an eighth of an inch by 0.125. I want you to increase that tab thickness to 0 0.05. Um, without that, your tabs are just too thin and they, the piece goes ahead and snaps off anyway. So, what you need to do is go back to your actual part file, and I'll do that for you here. Go back to your part file, we go to our contour where that outside contour is set, and we need to edit that. So I'm going to double click on it here, where it says contour 4, that's my outside path that you see here. I'm going to click on it, I'm going to go to, again remember we did that under this little squares block here, go to my tabs, and right now you see my tab is the height of my tab is 0.03125, I'm going to set that 0 0.05. So you do need to change that, change your tab to be just a little bit thicker, and those won't break off on you now um, there. Go ahead and go OK, and that's been updated. So now these tabs around the outside are fine. Again, when you modify this into your own piece, larger circle and all that, definitely look at this chart. I am going to add this chart to the document where the link for this video is, um, where all these videos are, so you can see this little chart there. Um, when you go larger than a 3-inch hole, um, if you have big old holes out there, again, you could use the pocket command um, that big, but you're just going to use and create so much dust and or chips and all that, it, it's really going to create a big mess. So I'd suggest not doing that. Um, I would definitely use the contour option and add tabs to hold those in place when you're doing larger than three inches. Um, really wouldn't use the pocket on those, but again, if you do, I, I guess it's okay, but just know that you're your cut's going to take a lot longer, and you're going to be wasting other people's time for once you use the machine. As a side note also, I didn't mention this before, when you do that inside part, you are going to have little tabs there that you're obviously going to have to smooth out. And that's the reason why I don't have you do it in anything smaller than an inch, because getting inside that one-inch diameter circle to smooth out those tabs is a little bit of a pain. But if you go one inch or larger, you can use a Dremel tool pretty easily and smooth off those little tabs that you put there on the inside. All right. So that's it. I think that's it for this video. And we're going to do one more video that shows you how to do the post process.